Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today in this Divi tutorial, I am going to show you how to customize and style the post navigation links and make them look like buttons. All right, let's get started. All right, so the idea here is to take the post navigation module links and turn them into buttons because right now they look like just regular links. We want them to be styled with a background and border and hover effect and all that. So I think what I'm going to do is just jump over to our demo where I'm going to show you what I have done, what you will accomplish so down here. This is on our demo for the Div events calendar plugin that we have. Basically any of our demo pages, I have it set up so that you can go to the previous and next demo using that module. And it's just, you know, these are just regular pages, but um, using that module, it allows you to go previous and next. So I already have it done. This is how yours can look, okay? Now, let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna actually momentarily remove my CSS that we're going to be adding, okay? So I'm just gonna remove it on our demo. So it's gonna be missing for a few, few minutes here, but it's okay, I'm gonna refresh the page. And there you go, that's how it looks. It's just, you know, they're just links, nothing happens. You can't even hover and you know, nothing happens, okay? So what we're gonna do is style them. And of course, if you're on YouTube, be sure to be going over to our blog post here. This is where we have instructions. And of course, the snippet is down below here. So the first thing we want to do is basically just customize the text. Now, you can use any, any text you want, like depending where you're using the module. In this example, I'm saying previous demo, next demo. Now, if you use this module in a theme builder template for your blog posts, well, then you would say next post, previous post, right? Or you could say anything, go to next post or, you know, navigate to next post, whatever you want to say. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually go to where I have this module. Let's just go over into our theme builder. In this case, I have it in this template. So I think, I think this module would work really well in the theme builder. Otherwise, you know, you're just kind of putting it on a page or something. It's kind of strange, but here we are. This is post navigation module. And right away, when you open the module, you'll see previous link text and the next link text. And I have it set to demo, like I said. So go ahead and customize that however you want. Um, if you were using this for, for your portfolio, you could say next project or next item you know, anything, whatever it is, your custom post type, your pages, next page, you know, previous post, whatever you want to say, you can do that right there. So that's, that's kind of the first step, customizing the text. And then after that, we'll just adjust a few of the design settings. And basically you're limited to just text because over here in the design tab, you have links text, and that's about it. So under links text, you can set the font, obviously the font way I have it set to bold. You can set the text font size right here, line height and text shadow. And that's it. There's nothing related to the button. Um, actually the link text color here, don't actually set this here. That might sound funny. The reason I'm saying not to, because we need to do it with CSS. And the reason we need to do it with CSS instead of in the module, which that sounds backwards, right? It's because of this little arrow. If we set it here, it doesn't affect the arrow. It's so strange. So we need to do it with CSS. So basically what you should do be doing in this step is just things like the font, um, the font size, and that that's about it. Okay. Like the font, font size, that's about it. All right. So then we're basically done. So just put the module wherever you want it. You could adjust, you know, the width and, you know, I don't know if you want to whatever you want to do with that. But that's, that's about it. So we're done here. And I explain all that over in our, in the blog post here. All right. So here we go. Now that we have some of these really basic things done, we need to add the CSS. And again, I say this on all my posts, you know, if you have a child theme, we're going to be adding it there. If you don't have a child theme, that's okay. We're going to just put it in Divi theme options. Okay. So you can read about that here in, in these links. All right. And here's the code. It's just two things. Um, snippets. The first one is styling the link text and the second one is styling it on hover. Okay. You don't need the hover. 
if you don't want to, but I would, I would recommend it. Go ahead and copy it. And we are going to go back to our theme options and paste it there. So it doesn't matter if you have any other code here, you can just go ahead and paste it at the bottom. And let's take a look at what we have here. So first thing is we're just targeting the ETPV post nav, that's the module name. And then we're targeting nav previous and nav next. If you only wanted to target the previous button or you wanted to make it different, you would have to separate these. Notice how in my CSS, I have a comma right here. If you, for some reason, wanted one of them different, you would have to separate them. But for now, we're using, we're styling them both as if they're the same. So first, we're setting the color of white. We're setting the background to blue. We're adding a two pixel solid border of blue. And then we're adding some padding, making the border radius 50 pixels so that it's rounded. And we're adding a transition so it's nice and smooth. That's all we're doing, the color, the background, the border and the padding. And then on hover, we're just changing the text color to blue and the background to transparent. Okay, so now we're going to save that. And then I'll show you that. So remember, this is how it looks by default. And then we refresh the page. And there you go. There's your button. Remember how what I said it was adding the background, the text is, is white now, but when you hover, it's blue and the background changes. You can change those to anything you want. Adding the hex collar in there, that's really the main thing and, and adjusting the spacing. So just change the collars and the amount of padding and that's it. You don't have to change anything else. And again, like I said with those link collars, we, you would think that we could have done like the link collar in the module and then have it change on hover, but that would not affect this little arrow. So. Doing it this way is actually better, keeps it all in one nice little place. So there you go. Just changing the color and the background, and then you might want the border to match one or the other. I mean, you could have it, you could do it the opposite. You could have it so that the border is blue and the background is transparent. And then when you hover, it turns background blue. You know, you could do anything like that. That's basically it. And I, I just, all I had to finish this off was just a couple images there. That's it, I hope this is helpful. Um, we are releasing a CSS course. Um, it's gonna teach you this type of thing, help you understand it better, um, targeting things and hover and just all of this stuff. Um, but I hope this tutorial was helpful. I know it's kind of one of those modules that's like less used, I guess. But at the same time, it can be really helpful, especially I would think on a blog post, um, you know, next and previous blog posts, things like that. And I thought it was really nice for my demo. If you're looking at our plugin, you can be like, I want to go to the next one. Let's go see what this one is. You know, and then you see that, oh, okay, you know, and then you go to the next one. And again, changing the text, it can really have it nice and let it feel nice and custom. All right, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do enjoy this type of tutorial, let me know in the comments and let me know which module or what tutorial you would like to see next. Thank you guys for being subscribed here. We're gonna to continue to put out tutorials every single week. And I know that's why you guys like being subscribed here and following along. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.